sitting up drinking buddies because we fixing to tackle a topic that's going to touch each of us in some point of our lives. When it's time to go get a little nippity tuck done. This here's Loretta Jenkins, and you probably couldn't tell, but uh, I've been under the knife before. And if you at home and shaking your head yeah, and rolling your eyes, then come over here and say it in my face so I can bust your goddamn teeth out. Caprice. Y'all know that Barbie mama on the news who gave her kid a plastic surgery a coupon for Christmas? Y'all get off her they go back. She just trying to make her daughter look prettier. It, it's probably cheaper if you start them off that young. You just jealous cause God gives you a mug that even Dr. 982EO can't make susceptible. Holla purdies. Yeah, but plastic surgeons is, is miracle workers ordained by God to keep his creatures hot and sexy like he tended. And anyone say otherwise just trying to bring down your self-confidence, so fuck them. They ain't your friends. I mean, look at me. I'm 37 and look this good. Well, why are you overhauling the health care? We ought to be able to get free plastic surgery visits. I mean, because uh, irrespectively, that'll improve everybody's mental health. And, ooh, and create more plastic surgery jobs. Uh, yeah. Uh. It's a start. And prettier people is more happy. Because uh, we all know happiness is a direct result of being better looking than the others around us. And here is my tried and true formula for measuring your hotness, ladies and lady mans. Beauty is four times over the proximity of, uh, with the correlation of being, uh, standing next to near somebody ugly, uh, once removed. So, um, ratio to purdy is you always stand by somebody next to you that's uglier than you, cause then that way you always be the more prettier. Alright? Simple. So to all my little drinking buddies and training bras out there, listen up. You don't have uglies out there that's telling you that it's on all about the inside or read a cover of a book for you by the drink. But, um, that is just the liberal, obese media making up lies and shit in them. God damn, I'm sorry, y'all. I had to go, uh... Uh, bust in on Mamma and shake her down for the rent and breathe in a bunch of that, you know. And I ain't been right since. Ooh, 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 that might mean this walleye stoner friend of mine the other day posted on my, my picture comment. He said, somebody get new titties. First off, I'm surprised he noticed my titties because usually you got to put a dick in his mouth for you to pay you no mind. <laughs> Shit. I've had these titties since way back there when Dynasty was on. Now, if memory sir, um... This and hang full of birds, see, and this and this old hearty restaurant balloon, so this and my pot, and this and here, it just feel petrified. Feel like, um, a silly putty been left out of egg overnight. Serve me right for getting little work done out the back of a mobile clinic to come by once a month to siphon off my migrant renter's Medicaid benefits. Now, this will probably make its own hiss eventually, but while I got y'all on the subject of body modification, how come folks get all their face and shit pierced? Ooh, that's just freaky dicky. I only got my ears pierced like the good Lord meant for us. I mean, sometimes I like a little kitty wax on the oof of the bed. <sighs> what was we talking about? Oh, oh, why on God's green earth would anybody in their right minds pierce their genitalia? Would, 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 you, would you just like one day looking down at your privates and, and say to yourself, hmm, I think my labial needs some accessorizing, or you know, I think my dick need a new hole. And don't get me started on them tongue piercings, because my friend Flicka didn't tell me why folks get them in uh, <laughs> My philopoly is up. Uh, <laughs> if you got to attach whirly gig doohickeys and style in your mouth to give head better, then you probably wouldn't goon it right in the first place. And that's how I see it. And if any of you young hungans needs a demonstration, then come up over here and cease me sometime.